What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Journey to Master and today we're doing a tool review. We got something sent from Dremel. Dremel makes a lot of kind of DIY great products. Um, most of the products of theirs that I've tried have not been something that's like made for a construction site where you're talking heavy duty drilling, boring, cutting, saws, you know, they don't make things like that. They make a lot of stuff for the DIY market. So um, they sent me something that I use in battery form, but I uh, wanted to see what I thought about their corded version. So this is an oscillating tool. A lot of people call these a multi-tool because there's all kinds of different blades that you can put on them. Um, this is the Dremel Multimax MM45. It's corded. So here's my first impression. I hate stuff that I have to plug in. That's just first out the gates. That's not to say that this is like a piece of shit. It's just the, the entire construction industry right now is getting away from corded. Like everything is cordless. Battery technology is going up to you know, 20 volts right now. There's some uh, shit that DeWalt's doing that's 60 volt and 120 volt, 120 volts of battery power. So why well, have to plug something into a 120 volt outlet? Like if you're gonna be using this all day long, constantly, okay, that makes sense. But really you're limited to how close you have to be to the material. Then if you need to be, you know, 15 feet away from power, you have to go get an extension cord roll the thing out, plug it in, and use it. So the whole corded aspect of this, I don't like. I get it, Dremel doesn't have a line of batteries that they can um, compete in the market with that. So that is why I say this is a DIY tool. This is something that somebody probably has in their workshop, in their garage, when they're doing at-home crafts, or, or like um, they're doing their own like cabinet work at their house or something like that, and they need to be able to cut material, or they need to be able to sand or do some a little bit of like masonry cutting or things like that so this would be great for that for that use this is very very heavily powered um it's very sturdy like i don't feel like i'm gonna break the thing i like the grips on it it's really grippy i like that the, this rubber is like kind of a smooth um like a satiny feel uh it, it's it's rubbery so it just it, like sticks in your hand it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide out of your hand they've got this quick lock on here that feels like, in all honesty, it feels like I'm going to break this damn thing. Um, but I don't know. I think that's just the feel of it. I probably won't. It's just how it clips. It's It like clicks a lot, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong in there. I don't think so, because looking at the actual clip that's inside of here, it's just a clip that's bending back and forth. But in any event, this is the clip that opens up the front of this so that you can... Let's see if I can get some blades out of here. You can take a blade out. Oops, let's put it on the right way. Stick the blade in like that, and then clasp it in. Now this thing's not coming off. This blade is specifically for cutting metal and wood, but I have found that most blades like this that say that they're for metal and wood really mean it's for wood. Um, the metal, the teeth tend to deteriorate very, very quickly because you don't have too big of a surface area. You've only got this many teeth. You know, a sawzall blade where there's a, a blade that's meant for metal and wood, you have a blade that's like seven inches long or like 11 inches long or something like that. That's got a lot of teeth. So that blade's gonna last because there's more surface area of cutting over the long term of that blade. But this thing uh, I've found using these blades on metal, it just chews the shit out of them very quickly. And if you're drilling through anything that's really thick material, even wood, if you use these, and this is not just this brand, this is all of these types of blades. The way that they're welded together, they have these little tacks inside of here, and it's almost like they're soldered or they're like tack welded in place. Um, but when you heat this blade up too much, the, these blades actually break right here. They break those welds inside, so this whole top part of the blade flies off and breaks. A little tidbit of side information it has nothing to do with Dremel. Um, but that's just, you know, what I found. So they came, uh, this kit actually comes with a whole crap load of different blades. They have 
just what comes with this bag. Um, they've got this triangle adapter that you can put all different kinds of sandpaper on. So just peel these off, stick them on, and you can sand stuff. They've got coarse grit sandpaper. I think there's three different levels of sandpaper in here. Yeah, there's like, I don't know, what is this, 240 grit. It comes with 120 grit. This is probably like a 60. Yeah, 60. And uh, it comes with even some finer stuff like, what is that? A B080? I don't know what that is. I don't know what these are. These are like a little bit more clothy. Um, so maybe they're for sanding different material. I don't know. Maybe one of y'all know. But I don't know what the white pads are. This is P80. Um, so I don't know what material you would even use these. But I don't do sanding. I'm not a woodworker. So I probably will never use any of these. Um, what else? It comes with this little uh, jab saw, like drywall saw. So you can cut into drywall. And it like, cuts a, a really neat, clean line. This is for wood and drywall. It's just like a, a circular cutting blade. What else we got? wood specifically wood metal and this is for mason it's a carbide grout bit so if you need to cut grout in tile probably won't cut the tile very well maybe um, maybe not porcelain tile i don't know um, but it will definitely cut through grout so that's pretty neat so uh, i got to use this for a little while and the power behind it is great it, like it does the job it does everything it needs to there's no battery power so you don't have to recharge batteries or anything it still has a full range of speed all the way from zero to ten so you can get like high power out of this at a high speed a lot of oscillations um, or you can go low speed depends on what materials you're going to be cutting on which speed you'd use so uh, overall man it's it's hard not to give this five stars because it's a really quality made tool the only reason i'm going to give it four stars is because the cord like really it's just the cord um you're sending a construction guy a tool so when there's other tools on the market that are doing what you're doing, but they're doing it in a more economical, efficient way and providing just as much power, um, I don't feel like it's a great competitor. That's just for my space, though. I'm working in metal buildings with rigid materials and like cutting a lot of shit out in a day. So um, I want something that's versatile that I can hold in my hands, not have the burden of a cord like wrapping around me when I'm trying to get under a sink in a cabinet or something like that. Uh, so I would personally not use this. So normally when I say something's just going to sit in my truck and I'm never going to use it, I get a three star. But this, I feel like the quality is high enough that it deserves a four star, even though I would not use it um, on construction job sites. I think that somebody that's not in the construction space, or maybe even a helper, like an apprentice, this would be a great thing. It's a lot cheaper than having to go out and get yourself a DeWalt or Milwaukee or Makita when you just spent all this money uh, on a brand new set of tools and you're like shit this is one more tool I gotta go buy and I have to make sure it's the same brand as the rest of my stuff so the batteries work um, this is a good option in the in the meantime like it's ruggedly built so it still has a lot of value to it it's just that you have to plug the thing in constantly which on job sites you learn as you go um, cords are the enemy so um, let me know what you guys think if you've ever used this before if you want more details on it uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.